What's up guys, it's your boy Junior here, bringing you another great video to the channel. If this is your first time here, guys, I highly suggest that you go ahead and hit the subscribe button, enable bell notifications, so you get notified every time we drop great videos like this one, or whenever we go live. Because trust me guys, you never ever want to miss out on things that we do here. Alright, like I discussed in my, one of my past videos about me traveling a lot, you know guys know I love to travel. I've been around the world not all the countries but i've been i explored a lot of the countries that i wanted to see and one of the biggest things that we have a problem with doing when we're going traveling like what i mentioned is we like to use our phone a lot once to take pictures navigate through areas research stuff so what happens when you start using your phone a lot your battery dies and if you remember the one of the last videos i did is i did i talked about a portable power bank which was fifty thousand milliamps which is up to 15 times charge over on iphone 14 that it also charge over um a samsung s20 about 13 times and it was great that's a great charger and that one had its ups and perks but now i found another one that is also a great one and is this one right here is this n6 35,000 milliamp portable charger but what's the difference about this one and the other one besides the milliamps? I know this one's 35,000. But the one upside on this one is it has built-in wire for all devices. Whether it be lightning cable, USB-C, uh, micro USB, and USB-A, it gets you here connected. And let's say you don't want, you're not using one of those ports. What about if you need a port for another device that needs to be, take a USB-C? or USB-A. It does provide extra ports that you can input stuff in there that you could charge your other devices with. So it's not just for phones, but this is good in case people don't want to carry extra wire or have a long wire dangling around. You got to wrap it up, put it in the back. There's many cases I've seen it. Um, the only reason I went and got this one because I know my wife was like, oh, I, I would love a charger like this because for trying to mix it easy, I don't have to have an extra wire or find another wire to plug it in like I did with the other one with the power bank power bank I, I'm gonna call it power bank power bank because the name of the product is called power bank and it's a power bank don't ask you why that's how they named it whatever it is so we're gonna go and review this one again what I'm gonna do is put a link down below if you want to get this one after review you can check it out um, this one wasn't too bad I believe this one was $35 if I'm not mistaken I could be wrong because guys I buy so much stuff and I forget what stuff costs but this is a great product from what I can see. Um, I, like I said, it has four attachable cable connections for different mobile devices. Uh, on the front, just like it did with the other one, it does have a display of how much battery life is left on here. Um, I'm pretty sure this one probably does about maybe iPhone 14, maybe since the last one did about 16 and a half devices, this one probably two, maybe 10 times it does it charge over. I want to say that, don't quote me on that, I'm just doing quick math in my head, trying to do the quick math. But overall, um, each port does about 5 volts, 2 amps. Um, yeah, from what I can see, the specs in the back of the box, it gives you all the specs of all the connections here. So pretty much, they all do about 5 volts. Um, the USB-A port 2 also has ports for 9 volts, 12 volts. And, and four and a half volts, including the five volts. And then type C has the nine volt, 12 volt, and of course the five volt, like I mentioned. But overall, they all have five volts. Some connections have more voltage to it, depending which one you use. All right, uh, and let's see, the box pretty much shows you the device right here, shows you the device. You probably won't see it too well because of the glare of the plastic on here. Uh, it's airport friendly. It has all the plugs lined up in the back. It has a slot for each one. It, has, it shows the front right here with the battery meter here. Uh, it has, it's called portable charger with built-in cables, which is pretty cool. I think that's a pretty cool device. Like I mentioned, it's 35,000 milliamps. Uh, what else they have on the device? It has super fast charging, intelligent chip, LED digital display, and built-in cables. All right, and this is 22.5 watts of super fast charging. So if you guys know what that means, great. If you don't, basically this is like a fast charger. You don't have to worry about it. Um, and I think that's it. Besides the back end, it has all the specs, like I said. 
tells you what connection it has. So the cable connection has, just to tell you, it has a USB-A cable input, uh, ISO, that's lightning cable input, type C, and micro USB input. So you get those three, it does not have a um, mini USB. I, it has everything else except a mini USB because no phone out there ever came with a mini USB. If you guys don't know what a mini USB is, I, I have my alarm for my car takes a charging port and it's USB, a, a, USB, a mini USB, which is this port right here. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see, it's this one right here. Uh, Try to clear it up right here. That's USB, mini USB right there. It's, it's not that common at all, but some devices do hold it, but not a phone. If it's a, a tablet, smartphone, any of those, not gonna have it, but stuff like this, you might have like a remote, something that says USB, mini USB. It's not on here because it's not meant for that, so you're good to go. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna open it up and see what's inside and how it looks actually. So, and this is the first time I'm actually opening. Hopefully there's a charge in there like with the other one. The other one had a 73% charge. So I'm hoping this has a charger that can show some features on it. All right. Like I said, there's a box right here. Open this up. Okay. Slide this out. All right. So right here, it comes in this plastic. There's nothing else in the box, as you can see, nothing else. All right here, this is the power bank here. And this is the charging cable when you want to charge it right here. So they come separate, as you see. And it charges by USB-C. USB-A to USB-C. So you got that charger, so we take the bank out. All right, so this is how it looks. If you push the button on the side here, I think you just push it once, it tells you the percentage. And as you see, it's 68% of battery life, so it, it comes pre-charged. I wonder what happens if I hold it. Nothing happens like when I hold it, because remember on the other charger, when I held the button, there was a light on the a flashlight in the back, so it gave you that. So this is all it is, it's very black, very simple in the front, nothing there. On top, you have the two USB-A inputs if you wanna use your own de dedicated cables, and a USB-C. Now, to charge the device, you would use the USB-C because it's for fast charging. If you have USB-A's and you want to charge it that way, you're more than welcome to, but USB-C is the proper way to charge it right there. All right, so now on the sides, there's nothing as you can see. And on this side is all it is, it's a button to turn on the battery display, which is digital right there. And on the bottom is nothing. And on the back is all your cables right there. Look how sleek looking. You can't even tell from the side, you can't tell there's any cables there. So basically, all you gotta do is pull out one of the cables you wanna use. Uh, if, you're, if you know what cables look like when it comes to these charging ports, you know which one it is. This is USB-A, USB-C, Lightning cable, and micro USB. So I, I do have my Samsung S22 right here. Okay, so I'm gonna, this takes type C. I'm gonna, bring, I'm gonna take out the type C one. And it comes out very, very. Look how like, nice, how easy it is to fling around. So it, it's actually very flexible. So if I want to put my phone right here, like I want to hold the, the power bank right here, and I want to plug this in on the bottom. All right. So you're gonna see that it's gonna show me a power display once I plug this in. Once I plug it in, you see a power display right there showing it's charging. And the display charging. Let me see how long it's gonna take supposedly to charge. Um, let's see. It says. Doesn't say anything because uh, it, it says it'll take 36 minutes to charge 45%. I mean, 35%, which that is lightning cable fast, uh, speed cable charging. And when you're charging, it shows you indicating that it is charging. You see that little green icon right there next to the, the 68 or 60, yes, yeah, 68. You see that that means it's charging. Now, when you're going to charge this, the number eight starts blinking, so it's showing that it's charging into the device, just like it did with the other one. All right, so that everything works, guys. You see, and then when you're done, you just take it out, put the phone away, and so when you're using it, you can carry the phone around like this, no extra cable, and just start using it as you wish with the charger in the back, which is, I think it's a pretty cool way to use this. See, this, in one way, it's better than the other charger I showed you, but the other one is also in one way better in this way. All right, so how with the other power bank that I showed you, the way that one's better is because it's a larger bank. It's a bigger battery life. 50,000 milliamps. That's will charge more devices and last longer. This is about 30% less in milliamps. It's 35,000 milliamps. 
I just did really quick math in my head. I know it's, it's a little bit more than 35, but it's like maybe, I mean, it's probably like 33, 32 maybe. Cause I just did, I took 50 divided by three. That's 15, that's about 15 and a half each. And then I just did the math real quick. So it's probably maybe like 32% less than this one and more than this one. But this one has the dedicated cables in the back, which is a big plus for some people. So now if you want a big, bigger power bank and you don't care about attaching cables to it, then the choice is the other one. Now, if you want a simpler one, but battery life is a, a little bit shorter, about 30%, a little bit over 30% shorter life, then this one come, is better for you because it comes with the attached cables and you don't have to carry any extra cables around guys. Now, I'm, I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna tell you this too. One thing I, I, I personally don't like these type of ones, they're cool, yeah, because they have the cable, but here's the thing. If one of these cables break, you can't replace them. Now, they do sell power banks with the same setup like this, and if one cable breaks, this, this you could able to detach this. You're able to detach it and order another cable from the manufacturer and they sell it to you separately. But this one does not have that. But yeah, that charger, I forget which, what's the name of that one. I think it might be from Anchor, if I'm not mistaken. But that one is like five times the price of this. It's a lot more than this. Uh, and, the, and depending, the price could be on, depending on the, what's it called? The, the metal amps, on uh, milliamps of the capacity too. So guys, this is a great charger here. Good for travel. Um, I, I don't know how long it takes to charge this device. I'm assuming it's gonna probably take, depending, if you use a type C cable with a fast power block, I would say maybe about 10 hours to charge it. But if you use a regular USB-A like this, this one and charge it, maybe 20 hours, 22 hours. I'm only comparing it to the 15,000 milliamp one that I did before and their charging capacity. So that's why I'm using that. I'm throwing those numbers out. It doesn't show me anywhere on here how long it takes to charge it or anything like that. So I couldn't tell you how long it would. But yeah, guys, that's it. Again, if you want to get this one right here, I'll leave a link down below where you can get it. You're more than welcome to buy it. It's, it's a great must-have to travel. It's for the most simple person that doesn't want to carry too much because of the attached cables. But then again, the downside is it's less battery life compared to the other one I review. And the cables, if they go bad, you can't use that cable anymore. You can't detach and replace with a new one. That's the only difference about it, guys. But other than that, guys, I do appreciate you coming through and watching the video. If you enjoyed everything I showed you today, go ahead and give me a big old thumbs up. Show me all the love and support that you guys love to show me. Also, don't forget to hit that share button because sharing is caring. And we want to make sure that everyone's aware of everything we do on this channel. So they're not missing out just like you're not missing out. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, put them in the comment box down below. And I'll get to you as soon as I can, when I can, as fast as I can. And guys, again, if you still haven't done so to the end of this video, Go ahead and hit, hit that subscribe button, enable bell notifications so you get notified every time we drop new videos or go live. Because trust me, guys, again, you do not want to miss out on great stuff like this. Until next time, guys, I'm out of here. Peace.